Hey guys, so I know this video probably looks like dauntingly large, but I don't know if you can see this, <laughs> but this is the 42 books that I have to do this book haul with. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So these 42 books are all a result of Christmas gift cards, um, book outlets boxing day sale, my book of the month club box for January, and just some odds and ends that I have picked up throughout the last half of December and January. <laughs> and so this is kind of a mess because I didn't even try to keep them organized. This is chaos. <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna start with the two books that I got in my Book of the Month Club box. Now, if you all want to see more in-depth reviews of the Book of the Month Club books, then please go watch my Book of the Month Club unboxing book that I, or video, <laughs> that I think I put out last week, if I'm not mistaken. But the two that I chose were The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. Now, this was my Book of the Month Club, like, actual pick. And then I got Dangerous Allegiant, Alliance, by Janique Cohen as my add-on. I'm really excited about both of these, but I'm not gonna sit and dwell too horribly long on each of these books or I will be here for literally forever. <laughs> the next three books that I would like to kind of showcase together are books that I bought with the pure intention of trying again reading them. I've tried to read these books in the past and didn't really like them, but I would like to give them a second chance because maybe I just wasn't in the mood to read that specific book when I tried it. And those three are going to be very controversial because these are like tried and true bookstagram and booktube like favorites. The first one being Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Now, don't come at me with your pitchforks, but I read the first like three chapters of this book a couple years ago, was not a fan. I am now a huge fan of Jay Kristoff because I've read the Illuminae trilogy. Um, I have just never ventured or never been brave enough to venture into one of his own like standalone, like him just by himself being the author. And this came at a really weird time in my life. So I was not in the headspace to read this book before, but I'm hoping I am now because I really think that I will absolutely love this series. <laughs> the next one is Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I hate the characters in this book, but I am so curious to read through all three of the books in this series because everyone seems to love them and I want to know why I didn't the first time around. And the third one, is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. Now, I have yet to find a Maggie Steve Otter book that I like, and I'm scared that she's gonna end up in the same realm as Lee Bardugo, but hopefully if I reread this series again, maybe I'll love it this time. Um, I've only ever made it about halfway through the first book, um, physically, ebook, and audiobook. I have tried this book so many times. <laughs> But I feel like now, and this keeps like trying to slide out of its cover, um, now that I am a little bit older and maybe a little bit more patient, um, I'm hoping that I can fall in love with this series because I really want to be aboard, aboard this train, but I just keep missing it every single time. This next little trio are another um, set of books that I haven't tried in a very, very long time, but I am willing to try that again. And that is short stories. Um, I usually don't like short stories. I've had a really hard time liking them in the past, but these three sets of short stories have really piqued my interest. And that is A Thousand Beginnings and Endings by Ellen O oh and Elsie Chapman. This is all like Asian mythology inspired, which I am all about. So I'm very excited about this one. There's also Hungry Hearts, which is 13 Tales of Food and Love. And this is edited by Elsie Chapman and Caroline Sung Richmond, I think. Um, I am really excited about this. Books and Lala seemed to absolutely love it. And I think this is probably gonna be a good um, start to short stories for me as well. Which, okay, I always look at the dust, or like the cover under the dust jacket. How cute is that? 
I love the white with uh, pink lettering, a fave. And then the last one is Three Sides of a Heart by various authors, but it is edited by Natalie C. Parker. This is a story all about, or these are stories about love triangles. <laughs> and I generally tend to not like love triangles, but I think this is gonna be a little different because it's not going to be some long, like prolonged love. Um, it's not gonna be spanning a series. It's just gonna be little short stories. And I think I'm gonna fall in love with that even more. Now the next 19 of these are a small portion of the 22 books that I got on Book Outlet this month. I went crazy at the Boxing Day sale. The biggest amount was if you spent over $100, you got $40 off. So I only paid $60 for all of these, which is crazy because that's like a little under $3 per book. And that was a huge deal to me. So I'm gonna very quickly run through these because there is no way I have enough time to talk about all of these. I got Don't Forget Me by Victoria Stevens, Lantern's Ember by Colleen Hoke, Dry by Neil Schusterman and his son, Jared Schusterman, Map for Wrecked Girls by Jessica Taylor, The Dust of a Hundred Dogs by A.S. King, the Modern Fairy Tales by Holly Black, which is a combined copy of Ty the Valiant and Ironside. A Palm Beach Wife by Susanna Marin. The Accidental Beauty Queen by Terry Wilson. Seven Days of Us by Francesca Hornack. Hornack. Nixia by Scott Rankin? Rankin? Rangin, maybe? The Neon Rain by James Lee Burke. Blanca and Roja by Anna Marie Mecklemore. Anna Marie Mecklemore. It seems like it would be super easy. Me Mecklemore? Mecklemore? Something. And I Darken by Kristen White. Flight Season by Marie McQuart. Marquard? Marquard, I think. These are some of the hardest names to pronounce. Girls <laughs> with Sharp Sticks by Suzanne Young. Queens of Ennis, Le Ennis Lear by Tessa Gratton. Sweet Little Lies by Kaz Freer, Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan, and Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. Now, the one book that I did order from Barnes & Noble full price with a gift card that I got for Christmas, I know Boston from Boston Books is going to lose her mind once I finally read this, and that is The Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. I know I had a Kirsten White book in here earlier, and I apologize that I mispronounced her name, but... I'm correcting it now. <laughs> this is basically, I think, a story of, yeah, Princess Guinevere has come to Camelot to wed a stranger with magic clawing at the kingdom's borders. The great wizard Merlin conjures a solution, sending Guinevere to be author's wife and his protector for those who want to see the young king's idyllic city fail. Oh, from those. Anyway, <laughs> the catch, Guinevere's real name and her true identity is a secret. She is a changeling, a girl who has given up everything to protect Camelot. I'm all sorts of excited about this. And hearing Boston talk about it literally nonstop has only fueled this fire even more. The rest of these I kind of got from random places like McKay's, Barnes & Noble when they had a 50% off sale. And I think I got a couple of these with another gift card, but I honestly cannot remember. Um, so I'm just gonna roll through these as well. <laughs> and that is The Gracier by Kim. Liggett, Cursed by Frank Miller and Thomas Wheeler, Wilder Girls by Rory Power, Hashtag Fashion Victim by Amina Akhtar, The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones, Scream All Night by Derek Millman, The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman, The Kingdom by, jo by Jess Rothenberg, Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand, Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw, which, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to finally have this in my hands. You all know I loved, loved her first book. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So to finally have this in my hands, I'm like freaking out a little bit. Swipe Right for Murder by Derek Millman as well. There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. And the only book out of literally every single one of these that I've actually read before, 
I finally have a copy of Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. I am so excited. <laughs> I will share this book with literally whoever will stand still long enough for me to thrust it into their hands. I loved this book so much. Um, I can't wait for the first person to borrow it and review it and absolutely fall in love with it like I did. <laughs> So yeah, those are all the books that I got in the last part of December slash January. <laughs> if you all would like to tell me some of the books that you all hauled this month, please tell me down in the comments below. I love talking to you all. I always have a blast. And tell me if you think my <laughs> collection's a little excessive and if I should put more shelves right here because I know I should. I'm already full. Um, anyway. <laughs> If you would like to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, that is where I post about what I'm reading and what I'm thinking. If you want pretty nails like mine, I have my Color Street link down below. That is how I fuel this channel and it funds my reading addiction. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.